Welcome everybody, welcome to the Sirenscape channel. I'm Vicky, I'm the social media ambassador here at Sirenscape. And of course, if you've been following us every week, you'll know that already. Welcome in, we've already got Chris here who's prepping for his D&D game tonight. Nice, we've also got Lone Jedi in as well, who's always first here. Um, if it is your first time here and you have no idea what Sirenscape is, it's probably my job to tell you. Uh, we are a sound app that delivers lovely, non-repeating, diverse, ambient, fully immersive sounds into your ear holes for your tabletop role-playing games. And we are lucky enough to make the official sounds for some of the biggest tabletop RPGs around, including Pathfinder, Starfinder, Call of Cthulhu, Cyberpunk Red, and of course, Dungeons and Dragons. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, then go and grab yourself a 30-day free trial at sirenscape.com. Um, and if you stick around I'll be showing you how to use some of the advanced features which include being able to customize some of the existing sound sets or build one from scratch which is what we're going to be doing today so stick around if you want to learn how to do that. This is Soundset Roulette and I am ecstatic that I get to do this every week because this is the show that I get to make for you guys. This is the, the community focus show where you can come and get your latest updates on what we've released recently, including stuff we released last week, uh, what we're releasing this week, and what is coming soon. Uh, we also review some community highlights, and boy oh boy do I have some amazing community highlights for you this week. We also have something new, uh, but I'll, we'll get to that. It's something a little bit extra that I get to put in for you guys as well. And then the main bulk of the show, of course, will be Sunset Roulette, where I spin three random wheels, uh, which give us some things that we need to make a sound set out of and of course I'll need your help again so if you know a bit about Sirenscape if you have got some music recommendations or sound recommendations that could be used for Soundset Roulette then then is your chance to get involved and help me to build an awesome sound set within the time limit that we have so welcome in everybody um i hope that you'll join us for this amazing show lone jedi says i have pathfinder tonight but someone in the community was kind enough to pre-build a sound set for that adventure so no extra prep needed that is awesome i'm so glad so let's get on to the updates shall we because we have a lot to get through today so our most recent release, if you don't know, by the way, we released something new almost every single week and we released so much last month, but now we're into a new month. Uh, last week we released Pathfinder Nightmare Battle Sunset and it was really, really cool because I popped into a friend of mine's stream um, on Wednesday when we'd released it for our subscribers and they were having a nightmare battle and I was like, you know, what would sound really great here is our Nightmare Battle Sunset and they didn't even realise that it had been released on that day and they had it and they quickly put it into their game and it sounded wicked. So even though they weren't playing Pathfinder, they were playing D&D, &D, they could still make use of the Nightmare Battle sound set and it sounded really cool. This week we are releasing Call of Cthulhu, the Two-Headed Serpent Chapter 4, Oklahoma. And I'm quite excited about that one um, because I, I got a little bit of a sneak preview of this one and the sounds that were going on in this one and it is really cool. I'm really enjoying the sounds that are being created for the Two-Headed Serpent even though I am not playing it. Coming soon we've got the Call of Cthulhu, the Two-Headed Serpent Chapter 5 uh, which is Iceland. We've also got some bonus content coming for the Wild Beyond the Witchlight which is incredible. Uh, if you liked our part one then you're sure to like the bonus content that's coming very soon as well and we also have strength of thousand chapter three hurricanes howl which is also coming soon as well and that's for pathfinder so those are all of our amazing updates and like i said if you're a super siren subscriber you'll get those on a wednesday everyone else has to wait until a friday um and they just get added to your account you'll automatically have them in with your subscription so that's amazing right community highlights this is my favorite part i mean all of this is my favorite part i love doing this show but um one of my favorite parts is sharing community highlights so this is stuff that you guys have shared with me including your sirenscape setups um this one comes from brendan gets a hobby on instagram and they are setting up for their massive niolithotep game and they've got a game prop set there as well they've got sirenscape open they've got their character sheets i think this is just the prep stage um and i just love seeing how people use sirenscape uh, whether that's on a 
laptop, a tablet, a phone, however you're using Sirenscape in your games, I would love to see your setup, whether it's high tech, low tech, however it is, just, you know, just as it is as you're preparing for your game, just take a little picture and share it with us either on Twitter, Instagram or using the hashtag Sirenscape setup. You can even share it on our forum or you can even slide into my DMs however you want to get that to me. Um, I would love to see your setup and I'd love to be able to share it here with uh, people on our show, with our community. Right, I'm going to give your name another go because I know that I didn't get it quite right when I first said it a few weeks back. We have Meduolis, Meduolis OT. That can't, that can't be far off, right? But welcome in. I'm glad that you get to make it again. Papa Moose Press, also welcome in. Thank you for joining us. Just call you T. I'm getting there. Right, I'm just going to call you T and that's great because I have a friend in real life called T. So um, that works for me. T works for me and I'm British so T always works for me. So I love this Sirenscape setup. Uh, I just love anything where people have like got props or anything. I just love seeing how DMs prep for their game or in this case keepers, how they prep for their games. So yes, please share your setups with me. I would love to see them. Now, this one's going to take me a little bit longer because, oh my God, you guys did not disappoint me with this one last week. Your responses to this post were insane. And not only did they keep me entertained on Monday, but they kept me entertained on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday because you were all just sharing it and responding and we got so many responses to this post and we had some really hilarious ones and, and everyone managed to keep it clean. Shocker! <laughs> Um, T says, not sharing my mess. You know what? I don't mind if you share your mess. If you want to share your mess, uh, as long as Sirenscape is, is in that mess, share away. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see your mess. Um, I'll tell you what, if we run out of stuff, I will take a picture of my setup, how I set up for this stream. Would that be of interest to anyone? Get to see behind the scenes? Would anyone want to see that? Let me know in the comments. Um, but yes, oh my God, you guys did not disappoint um, with this one. So we actually do have a lot of responses to get through. But I, I'm hoping that, um, I'm really hoping that you'll enjoy these as much as I do. T and Lone Jedi says behind the scenes would be very cool. Well, that would be great. I will do that then. I'll probably share that next week. I'll share, I'll share my set, my messy desk. So you've got to imagine that this is my office as well and my streaming room and my home. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll share my mess if you'll share yours. Anyway, let's get on with these responses. These are great. So I asked you to ruin a spell by changing one letter. And we had a couple of, of, of the repeat responses, but there were very different takes on it. So we had Mage Band, summons a group of wizard bard multi-classes that perform classic rock covers and are happy to play at weddings, funerals and other events. <laughs> Check out sirenscape.com for bookings, I would say. Um, we also have another mage band so mage band again you summon a spectral band of mages that play dope music at your family functions but also this one doesn't stop here we had far stop creatures stop within 60 feet of you in an unoccupied space they just they just stand there that's it <laughs> mage bands do sound awesome and i think as a as a, a bunch of mages at Sirenscape, I think we can really get behind mage bands. Um, and then there's Pressed Timidate. Oh, I don't think that I can pronounce this, but Pressed Timidate. Intim oh my gosh. You guys know what I'm trying to say. I can't say it. You can imitate the cries of a creature you have studied for at least an hour. And I think that's great. I can't say it, but give me an hour and I might just be able to. Uh, spare the lying. Oh my God, this was one of my favourites. Spare the lying. You can only save those who have lied today. So anyone who's lied today, you've been spared. <laughs> I don't know what you've been spared from. Um, and then, like I said, we had some um, duplicates. We've got spare the lying and scared the dying, <laughs> which 
<laughs> I guess it's like sneezing. <laughs> if you if you're sneezing, you can sneeze and or you scare scare the people. Oh, no, it's hiccups, isn't it? Scare the person with hiccups and they're cured. If someone's dying, you scare them. Maybe maybe you'll cure them of, of death. Um, I don't know, but I, that one made me chuckle. We've got wireball. Oh my god, this is one of the very first answers we ever got, and this what, just. I think this is perfect as we're heading into Christmas. So we've got wire balls, some as the box of string lights from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. <laughs> this one made me laugh as well. Bestow nurse, you touch a creature and that creature has a chiding nanny fussing over them for one minute. Um, less, you less up to three creatures of your choice within range and they lose three random items for one minute. Uh, I hope that you can pick those items up afterwards. And then cloud of baggers, bagpipers suddenly appear. Uh, not so uncommon if you're in Scotland, of course. T says you can definitely save them if you teleport the dying to another dimension by sneezing magically, which prolongs their life. I don't know how it works. Most of these spells you just got to get creative with them. This one, oh my god, this one had me in stitches, especially when someone afterwards posted a GIF um, response to this. Do you say GIF or GIF? I always say GIF. I don't think there's a right or wrong way. Um, Burning Hanks. You summon a version of everyone's favourite sweetheart, Tom Hanks, and you set him on fire. Everyone but you who sees this takes Tom's age as psychic damage. Um... A wisdom save for half Tom Hanks is then completely healed and returned to the nanosecond that he was taken from. I mean, I love Tom Hanks and I, I just think that that would be, you know, poor Tom Hanks. I know that he gets healed and returned, but still he would have the memory of being burned alive for someone's enjoyment, right? He'd be absolutely um, dis like just distressed by that i think poor tom hanks bacon of hope which, to which i responded that i would definitely eat the bacon of hope um is that all of the ones that we've got oh no we've got we, they just keep going we've got wall of farce instead of a magical barrier of force the wall works as intended until any amount of damage or pressure would pass through the wall and then it prevents the source um prevents that source with a harmless bubble pop noise then the spell ends. <laughs> Gosh. Oh. Um, and that was it. And then we had some big ones as well. Um, this one, may I present? This one was fantastic. Uh, and I know Ben got involved in this one because he also found it hilarious. Our CEO, Ben, found this hilarious. Uh, may I present to you the wall of stone, which now becomes the wall of scone. Um, shadow pump. True teeing and shadowy feet. Uh, <laughs> and with MS Paint, they managed to do, uh, do some representations, visual representations of what that might look like. So there we've got the wall of scone, um, shadow palm. <laughs> um true tea and shadowy feet there i just thought that that was fantastic um you would hire mages to cast scones i would as well but as long as um as long as they come with cream and jam i'm all for it and if they could have minimal amounts of fruit in them as well or ideally none that would be great <laughs> okay we also had oh uh, why is my thing not working oops here we go um cause bear for one minute the song the bear necessities is audible around the target and if they fail their saving throw they start eating whole salmon knocking over trash cans rubbing their backs on things to scratch it and so wiping them biscuit pick their baskets oh my god honestly these had me in stitches um T says, I was not following Sirenscape on Twitter and now is a great time, what a great segue into me telling you that we are currently trying to reach 10,000 followers on Twitter. So please go ahead and spread the word about Sirenscape. Once we hit 10,000 followers on Twitter, we're going to give you a 10% discount code. Um, I think that applies to everything apart from subscriptions, but we're going to try and be as generous as possible. So please help us get to 10,000 followers on Twitter. Uh, back to this, we're in a spell by changing one word, Booming Slade. And again, very Christmassy, very, very Christmassy. Um, that, these, these Christmas gifts have really got me in the mood for Christmas. This one, oh, extra points for, um, 
for the gif here as well. Uh, wage hand, shut up and take my money. Um, I thought that was hilarious. And this one had me in stitches as well. Non-detection becomes non-detection. I cast non-detection. DM says, for the 40th time, you're in a cave filled with kobolds. You do not detect any nuns. Um, and oh my gosh so i read the worst oh my gosh why is this one so big i do apologize let me resize that for you um let me resize i don't know why this one is so big um chaos halt summon captain raymond halt from brooklyn 99 to cause chaos for five turns and my oh my what kind of chaos do you think that he would start um I need. I immediately need to go and watch Brooklyn Nine Nine again, again, <laughs> and I. I hope that that's all of them. Is that all of them? No, we had this one as well, um, from my good friend Albert, dancing fights, and again another great use of a gif. If you guys can think of a great gif to put as a response to any of my posts that I put on, um, you get immediate bonus points. Immediate bonus points for using a gif, uh, and we're back to this one. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to this community highlight this is a new part that we're going to do i won't always be doing this it's just if we have got some community content to show off and boy oh boy do i have community content to show off um a couple of weeks ago we released cyberpunk red abandoned facility and i can tell you that while not a piece of community content it was designed by a member of our community who's been credited as hw mccray um, and we ran a joint competition with Art Arsorian Games as part of the final episode of Fun. Phil, I'm apologising because I cannot say your name when I'm trying to do it quickly. Phil Harkersmith's fantastic Out on a Limb Cyberpunk show. Um, we gave away two prizes during that competition. One was a physical copy of Cyberpunk Red by Art Arsorian Games, and the other prize was the opportunity to design a sound set with us. And Hollis uh, came up with the concept of the abandoned facility and had some ideas with his daughter as well. And then we ended up making their their sound set and Hollis also voiced some of the English American lines as well for the AI so, and that is available right now so if you are running a cyberpunk red and you need an abandoned facility I also think that it works even if you're not running cyberpunk red but if you need an abandoned facility and a creepy creature encounter if you are a super siren sub you have access to that content right now we have Two pieces of community content which have recently been released and I love sharing your guys um, creations. Now we get so many submissions for community content, that's people just who want to upload their stuff and share it with the community and um, I could, they don't always get approved unfortunately uh, but we will always give you feedback on why they haven't been approved and you can try again if you wish but when they do get approved I would love to be able to share them off and spotlight them on this show which is exactly what I'm doing right now so the first of those pieces is the Shadestone Assailant which is a DM Guild product by Richard Neve I hope that I've pronounced that right and I've got to say even though I've not played the adventure, I did have a listen to the Shadestone Assailant sound set, which Richard has also designed and created. And it really gave me Broken Sword vibes. I used to love playing Broken Sword, which is like a point and click adventure game from way back in the day. But it really gave me those kind of vibes. So I've done really, really well with that. The other community piece of community content that I want to talk about is the Mosquito Witch, which is a popular Pathfinder adventure um, and has been created by one of our community members. I also cannot pronounce this name, but I'm going to give it a go. Uh, Daniel Arruyo. Um, I hope that I've, I've given it my best shot, you guys. I've given it my best shot. Um, but it has been designed and created by Daniel. And it is one of the adventures that we get asked a lot about whether we've got sounds for it and now I can say that we have and all of those things that I've talked about above they're all available now for Super Siren subscribers excellent so um I I love sharing community content anything that the community has made anything the community shares with me 
gives me a real buzz when I get to share it with you guys and talk about it and um, that's what really fires me up I love sharing that stuff with you um, if you are a DMs Guild creator and you want to create your own sound set to go along with your adventure we'd really love to help you with that um, so just drop us a line if you've got any questions or need any tips um, just drop us an email um, so I'm going to move on to the main bulk now because that's taken me a lot longer we've now only got 35 minutes to create a randomly generated sound set so if you've not been here before these are my pretty wheels I'm very proud of them we've tweaked them a little bit um, since last week because we were getting some of the same things that kept coming up so I've now actually added some new weather effects and that includes things like volcanic eruptions and earthquakes which are not necessarily weather effects but they are I looked in our na natural disasters um, library of natural disasters and I just thought that was pretty cool to add in earthquakes and volcanic eruptions and stuff like that so I have added a couple of different things that are not necessarily weather but can still be classed as weather I've added in a couple of different um, locations as well which is the middle wheel and a couple of different um, monsters and enemies and creatures and stuff into the last wheel as well Lone Jedi has said "Ooh, a custom sound set to go with the Pathfinder Infinite product there's an interesting idea yeah so go ahead and get creative yes new wheels no so not new wheels but new stuff on the wheel so really anything could come out so we've got weather effects we've got locations and we've got enemies so let's see what we're going to be working with today and don't forget you've got your channel points if you've got channel points you can redeem them to re-spin these wheels if you want to so let's see what we're working with today a volcanic eruption nice one of our new ones that's great okay where's it gonna be it really could be anything Ooh, an alien cantina gosh okay uh so we could be on a volcanic planet perhaps a volcanic a volcanic planet with an alien cantina and we're gonna be fighting I'm going to cheat because I don't I don't want to do a manticore. A giant spider. That's much more like it. I cheated. Don't tell anybody. Um just going to have a little quick sip of my drink here. And then we'll get cracking. I always like to think of a narrative for how we've ended up um Oh my god, they could be mechanical spiders. They actually could be. Um, that manticore does cause problems every week because I've put it in and I thought it'd be really cool, but now that I've got it, now that I've landed on manticore, I'm just like, eh, I don't really want a manticore. So we're going to go with volcanic eruption in an alien cantina with giant spiders. I definitely think we need to think outside of the box with this one. This is definitely going to be more sci-fi and I think, like, mecha spiders robotic spiders stuff like that i do actually think that that fits quite well um droids of sabotage them turn them from mining to killing yeah i think i think this could really work but i think we're gonna have like a volcanic planet um yeah mecha spiders are definitely the way to go okay so let's crack on with this then so as always uh, if you're new, again, this is what we are working with. This is the Sirenscape Soundset Creator and you'll have access to this. Um, if you are a Super Siren subscriber, you can grab your experimental features, sign in, opt in for experimental features and you'll get this lovely search function, which is in beta at the moment. Uh, if you are not... Um, part of that then you'll be looking at something like this and you can still search for samples and elements to add to your sound set this way but I love to show off our new search function which is this beautiful thing here so it can look a little bit daunting it's just a completely black space at the moment uh, it's um, natural to feel overwhelmed and a little bit lost but never fear we're going to create this together so the first thing you're going to want to do 
is click this plus button at the top to create yourself uh, a new sound set. There we go, untitled. It'll come up as untitled. Uh, we can give it a name by going to properties, sound set, and we'll call this Sunset Roulette 6. Um, um I don't know what to call it. <laughs> uh, T says mecha spiders running away towards a spaceship to save themselves from the volcano sounds more funny. <laughs> Right, we need to definitely think about how this is going to go. Um, so you think that 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 we're going to be attacked by the mecha spiders that are running away from the volcano and then they're going to attack us so they can take over our ship perhaps. Okay, let's let's figure this out. I like to think of a narrative to go along with this. I'm going to call this one Mecha Spiders, just so that I don't forget. It's more like a stampede. Okay, not an attack. More like a stampede. Okay. Whew. Well, let's... Let's... Let us... What shall we do first? Shall we do the volcano first, or shall we do the cantina first? Do we... Do we... So... Um, so we could be being chased by the mechanical spiders, the mecha spiders, and we have to hide in the alien cantina. So it's kind of like a race to get there. I think, I think we could start with Volcano and end in the cantina. I think that's the way to go. So in here... We're going to try and find Volcano. Okay. So I think that I want the Volcano to be a mood. So I'm going to search by mood here. Um, can also search by sound set because I know that we've got a Volcano sound set. Natural disasters. If it's a volcanic planet, then maybe it's just in the background. You walk by the local terrain. Yeah, maybe it is. It's just a volcanic planet. So maybe it's not like it's erupted. It's just a volcanic planet. Um, let's have a little look at natural disasters, shall we? Lava flow. Okay. So we want, we probably want lava flow then more like. lava flow let's have a look for mood let's see what that sounds like shall we yeah that sounds good for our first one right so if we create our first mood um and we'll just call that a volcanic planet You think this sounds more like a furnace? Well, let's let's start with this, shall we? I think let's start with this and then we can see. We can see. So maybe we could mix in. Yeah, I think so. It isn't a full on attack environmental adventure yeah okay so you think so t says i think it has an echo if you're in a mountain okay, so maybe the um it's got no reverb on it let us then maybe look at an alien planet and then maybe we can just put the volume down yeah exactly let's turn it down a 
down ever so slightly. That more in the background, do you think? Um, okay, so I'm going to look at Alien Planet. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can start making this sound more like a planet and not just like a volcano. What do you think? <laughs> T says, it could be a picnic. You come to take your lunch break in a cantina while traveling around the countryside. <laughs> and bam, spiders just come to steal your sugar cubes. How dare they? Um, cool. Let's populate this with some people shall we or aliens rather um okay what else do we think do we think we would um we would perhaps hear some We would perhaps hear some let's find let's see if we can find um let's search for Mecha Spider. He yeah, heavy machinery airships, that's what I'm thinking as well. Yeah, I also think so. Okay, so let's start with that then. So let's um find some machinery so this comes from space dock so this actually could be really good Yeah, we want to have like space chatter and stuff like that. I think we're definitely going, I'm going to actually search by genre as well. So I'm going to search in the sci-fi genre. Let's go proper sci-fi with this. the volcano back on this is the bit where i always feel like i just like space out and do my own thing <laughs> pretty good let's um save current state that i'll copy over some of the machinery just need to turn it down slightly We necessarily need 
think we need music just yet. No, we don't need music just yet. So I'm going to go for moods. Just sound effects, probably. Let's just filter by sound effects. Let's try and get this right. Made with rocks, ships and vessels. Yeah. Um, so let's look at the cantina. Let's try and get some of the chatter and stuff. I roll ones has just arrived. Hello, everybody. Let's get some um, Let's get some aliens <laughs> uh, Yes, we are doing a volcanic eruption Alien cantina and giant spider So rather than an eruption per se We're going to say that it's set on a volcanic planet um, we're just going to say that it's set on a volcanic planet uh, because I think that, that that makes more sense. And I actually think that this is sounding pretty good, to be honest. Um, shall we get some like droids or like AI? Let's get some, if I can find some droids in here. Yeah, I think this is sounding nice and sci fi. <laughs> uh, I roll one says the volcano is erupting. Let's ride our giant spiders to the perm. That's a great idea, actually. So we've already decided that they're going to be like mechanical spiders, but I actually like the idea of it not being a combat. Like, our enemy is not the spider. Perhaps we have tamed the spider and we're riding them to the perp. Um, I think that's a good idea. That is a great idea. Um, okay. Uh, uh, what else do we need? Let's have a little more look for some more volcano stuff. The spiders have tamed us. <laughs> Got you guys. Um, I, I actually don't. Uh, bravery for the win. Yes. Right. What else do we need? We need um, some ships. And we've filtered this by sci-fi, so hopefully it will just give us like spaceships and stuff like that. Um, ships fly by, let's see. <laughs> I roll one says I for one. Welcome our new spider overlords. Yes, there is no um <laughs> Fighting is futile. Resistance is futile, isn't it? Um, okay. What else do we need? Okay, so we... So we've decided that it's a volcano planet, which is great. Let's look for more volcano things now that I've now that I've taken the sci-fi thing off. for loops as well so just bear in mind that this is in beta so not everything is perfect uh, sometimes it doesn't return things that I wish it would return but it's all about testing um, kind of corruption kind of flow. think that we've got everything that we're going to get here for volcano. We could have 
have more of the earthquake sweeteners that we had before. that before when we used that. Okay. Do we need more general chatter, do we think? Or like workers perhaps? Fight again. Got construction workers, does the work? <laughs> this one alien chatter quite is like quite loopy. Uh, I'll tell you what then, I could do chatter. Normal chatter. Warehouse chatter? Oh, you're liking the droid beats and whistles, thank you. I'll put some more droids in. I can put in some aliens. Alien chatter. Perhaps. Let's see what happens with that. Outpost alien? Droid. Um, what did we have before? We had like an alien. Alien group one. So we've got alien group one. We could do. An alien crowd, maybe? The booms are a bit loud. See, this is why I need you guys. This is why I need you guys. Mm. Alien group two. We can do alien group three. I don't think we want too many aliens. Right now. I think what I will do is I will and um, slightly. I think we need like more tinkering and stuff, right? Turn them down just slightly. More, more work sounds, yeah, more construction. Let's have like more tinkering. Take it off, slide back. Tinkering. Construction. Taurus? Yeah, maybe. Construction vehicles. Construction vehicles, maybe? Okay, okay let's have a little look at these. Let's see what we can do. in a soft furnished room which obviously they're not so I'm just going to turn any of the reverb off um distance can have some of these a little further away I'm 
you can have them leaning towards us, which is great. I'll do the same with the other ones. Us. I'm just going to randomise these. And the way, same with all of the alien groups, I think. We'll have them all moving. And we should turn off the reverb. Same with the droids. City's fine, actually. And we'll have it a little further away and moving. So it's nice that we can do that. So hopefully they'll start to sound a little bit more natural. Turn that off. Construction vehicles, I assume. We can, I'm just gonna try moving them away from us. Maybe, yeah, why not? Ships flying. I've never really played with the distance and stuff and the speed moving, but I think that'll make it sound a little bit more natural, I'm hoping. Um, let's see if we've got any tourists. <laughs> I'd be surprised if we have. Yeah, we haven't. Um, what else do we think we need? Because this is just like a, a volcanic planet. There's nothing happening. There's no action. We're not being forced anywhere. We're not being... Um, chased anywhere. We're just enjoying the volcanic planet. We're just kind of surrounded with, you know, we're just surrounded by workers and droids and other aliens. Let's pop in some more alien stuff. Sharing our sugar cubes with the giant mechanical spiders. Yeah, exactly. Alien involuntaries? Oh gosh. Um Mechanical spider spare. Oh, I'm just going through our um just going through and having a little having a little listen to what we've got. Flying swarm? Oh, don't know. like this. I quite like how this sounds. So you want to try some more kind of... Do you want more kind of... I don't think we've got barbecue per se. I mean I do always type... Whatever people suggest I always type it in and see what comes up. Um, but if we think of like fire or like a fire pits or um, fire elemental no. lava fire we've already got lava fire haven't we volcanic lava fire of just need a bit more lava fire that's a bit further away or a bit closer perhaps. Oh, 
What do you think? Because we could duplicate the lava fire or the lava eruption, the volcanic eruptions, and have it a little bit closer or a little bit further away. Let's try lava fire. Let's duplicate this. The element. So we're going to duplicate that. And we're going to put... So how far away is this one? very close. So if we do that one and have it a little bit further away. Um, don't know what this does. We're just going to experiment. I actually don't know what this does. I just assume that it'll make it more like central rather than like all around. Layers of lava. Yeah, let's do layers of lava. And have that set at a slightly different volume. Okay. And I think perhaps we need more more construction happening. And perhaps even more um, like ships passing over. Look at what a jackhammer sounds like. <laughs> Wrong kind of construction. <laughs> Wrong kind of construction. Um, more construction workers then maybe it's too many so um, I'm going with ship again and I'm going sci-fi to filter it ship's first ship building these are called Thule ones so don't think that that will happen Metal ship ambience. Let's see what this looks like. Nope. Oh. Hmm. Okay, let's go for some more flybys then. We've got flyby medium, flyby small. See what these sound like. See if they add. Oh yeah, okay. They add a little bit of something. We'll just save current state there. So we're still on our volcanic planet. I've just realised time is like whizzing by. Uh, so we really need to get a speed on. So let's be done with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save current state, and I'm actually going to duplicate the mood that we can now add in our spiders. So we've also, we've had a couple of different suggestions. The mechanical spiders could be what we use to escape the volcanic eruption so we could ride on them to the cantina. Um, or they could be, um, we could be being chased by the mechanical spiders as they flee the eruption. Um, what was I doing? I wanted to duplicate, didn't I? There we go. Duplicate that. Duplicate planet. Uh, we can do proper eruption now. So, we can have, we can pump that up slightly then.
tinkering will stop at that point. The ships and things can still be whizzing by. And I think we need to add in some spiders. Let's just look for robots though, because I just want to see what we've got. Giant robot footwork. We still need to sound like spiders though, don't we? That's too robotic. Um, so actually the attack in this case, oh, I've accidentally, um, accidentally cut that twice. So what we still want it to sound, instead of eight robot clanks at a time. <laughs> You're hilarious. Um, we still need it to sound like. We still need it to sound like a spider. Um, so if I just type in spider and keep it on the side side. Um, we still need it to sound like spiders. So how do we do this? Because giant spider would not be a problem, I don't think. Let's just see what this sounds like. Some sound like spiders. Spider movement. Let's find out what these are. Leng spiders talk and walk. What are these? robotic voice I don't think that's gonna oh you mean like a I see what you mean like a voice filter no that's not gonna work um, and I don't think that the spider should talk so we need to go back to making it sound like a robot or me like mechanical like mechanical something mechanical Let's just put mech in and see what comes up. We've got mech movement. Let's again go sci-fi. Yeah, we need some sort of spider leg clanking or like, almost like a metal chittering sound. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop at everything until we find the right sound for this. So I'm just gonna press stop here and that stops everything. Um, so let's find, so that's too mechy, that's not spider enough. Um, tech ambience, let's just see what this sounds like, I just want to see. Background armour activity. I'm hoping that we can find something that we can pass off as like mechanical spiders. No. I don't think we're going to be able to find it, you know. Small arms, that could work. <laughs> no, wrong type of arms. 
Oh no, <laughs> wrong type of arms. I was thinking arms, not arms. Um, <laughs> wrong type of arms, oh no. Um, mechanisms. Again, too mechy. Security robot movement. I roll arms, you said you love it. A, a bunch of small metal arms falling out of a container. Yeah, I need I need arms, like mechanical arms and legs. Security robot. I'm hoping we can pass something off as as a spider, unless we just use actual massive spiders. Maybe we scrap the fact that they're mechanical spiders. Mechanized ambience, dragon move cyborg dragon? Oh, I mean that sounds <laughs> Amazing. That sounds amazing, but very much not. Very much not what we're after. Um, mechanical arm again. Uh, okay, that's not. Oh man. I feel like the welding sparks. I feel like we kind of need some welding sparks in this bit here. Yeah, someone is using a leaf blower outside and thought it was he <laughs> thought it was Simon. Um. Okay, I. I tell you what, I am going to go back to the idea of just using spiders, you guys. And maybe we can put a different reverb on it somehow, like a metal floor. Um, we've got footsteps on a hard floor. No. Oh, I mean, I don't know what that is, but that sounds really cool. That's a, that's a very cool sound. I don't know what we would use that for, but that's very cool. Um, we are going to need to go back to spiders, I think. Spiders. We're just going to have to go back to spiders and hope for the best. Um, attacking spiders. I was really hoping we had some like. What about a toy spider? Bear with me. No, okay. Definitely thought we had some cool toys. Robot. We've tried robot, haven't we? Robot rules, giant robot footwork we've already done. I'm going to try it again. It's just not right, is it? It's just not right. It's just not right. I mean, it's close, close. It's the closest we've got. Um, oh man, I'm so, I really want to have giant mechanical spiders. Ah. Let's, shall we skip ahead to the cantina? Let's just skip ahead to the cantina. Let's go for moods because I know that we've already got. I know that we've already got this. Giant mechanical spiders, exactly. A wild west can alien cantina. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Okay, so... Oh wow, this is so cool. Let's just... 
A spilt queso. A West, Wild West Cantina. <laughs> no Musicalian Cantina. Okay, we're gonna go with this. So actually, rather than what I usually do, because it's a completely new move, um, I need to stop that, that's actually hurting my ears. Um, so we're going to actually look at sound sets for this. I just want to see Alien Cantina. Let's see if we can land on what we want. I'm not so crowded. Trouble with the law? Crowded. Let's just see what we've got here. We quite like it. Quite like it. Right. So I do quite like that. I think maybe I'll change the music, but I think actually the um I actually think what can I get for you today? I think the alien cantina crowded was pretty good. So I am gonna save that. So I'm gonna go into here, save current state. Sorry. Safe current state. Um, you can actually just. Um, oh, <laughs> T says you've got to go and look. Your vampires won't draw themselves. That's absolutely fine. Thank you for being here, my darling. Thank you so much. Right, we can find some different music if you wish. Or we can go into here and we can see what the element playlist is and we can pick what music we want. <laughs> so I think what I will do is I actually think we haven't got time to pick that, but if you wanted to, you could go in and Pick which one you wanted. Any that you don't want, you just remove it like this. But I think let's keep it as is. And I'm going to turn the music down a little bit so it's more background. So it's more background. There you go. Save the mistake. I think we should have the earthquake rumbles in the back. Earthquake eruption in the back. Where are the epic sweetness? And what I want to do is I'm going to add in some like glasses clinking and stuff like that. Uh, okay, so let's... And some normal chatter. Where did that chatter go from before? We have warehouse chatter, construction chatter. Let's keep those on. Okay. Uh, we just haven't got the spiders. That is the only thing that we are missing. Um, I'm going to go for some clinking glasses, clinking. And I'm specifically now searching for sound effects, clinking. Definitely for the eruption, we need some like panicky music. Uh, let's have 
and Sans, Bob and Sans. Go for Sci Fi here. Sci Fi Tavern. Uh, Happy Rich Man. Lovely. Um, what else do we think? I think the cantina is absolutely fine as it is. I love the music in the background there. Sounds like a good club. I think you could really relax in here after a as you hide from a volcanic eruption, right? You could definitely, uh, you could definitely hang out in here and wait for the volcano to pass, as volcanoes do, I guess. Um, wait for it all to blow over. Uh, cool. I definitely think we need more. Um, Chatting, echoing happiness, chatting. I think people are laughing, maybe. good for the cantina so a totally heat proof club yeah as it would be on a volcanic planet but we need a bit of panicky music here so what I want to do is I actually want to look for the Shadestone Assailant because that actually had some great um, actually had some good chase music in it She had some great music in it. Actually had some really good music in it. I was like, oh my god, I love the music that they've chosen. It's not quite what we want, is it? Right, okay, we want some some Music for running away from a, just a little bit of tension perhaps. So maybe if we put in tension and music. Let's have a little bit of tension while we... Oh my god, yeah we could have definitely used stuff from the scab in there. because that's like a horrible, hellish, volcanic, um, okay, I'm gonna, oh, sorry about that. I had a little bit of a tech issue, um, which is fine because we're almost done. <laughs> we're not going to panic. We're almost done with this. What is happening? My computer's been having a brain fart all day. Just bear with me, guys. But we are almost done with this sound set, which is great. Just need to find those spiders. Just need to find those spiders. So we need a little bit of shouting. As, as that happens, shouting. The only 
anything hotter than our spider jars of the volcano out the back? Oh, maybe these spiders are playing the playing the jazz music. The spider jazz. Um, cool. Okay, so we really need to get some spiders. So I think we're going to have to give up on the idea of them being mechanical spiders. Um, oh my gosh! No, don't crash again. I think we're just going to have to go with spiders moving. Kind of move them. Iron spider webs. Well, well, we'll just try that, huh? No, I'm so sorry about all of this. Shall we? Let's see if we've got a giant spider. Giant spiders. Oh my god, not again. <laughs> oh my god. I think my computer's gonna blow up. I'm I'm serious. <laughs> oh, it's just not having a good day. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're still we're still we're still alive, we're still okay. Just bear with me. I think I think everything is crashing right now. Okay, phew, but Sirenscape, Sirenscape continues. Ooh. Okay. Um we kinda need some spider stream is solid, just the sun is taking a break from time to it's because all of my tabs are freezing like it's it's just my computer all of my tabs are freezing which is just just absolute nightmare honestly um okay so can i do like spider legs like i really want them to skittering spider legs Kittering spider legs. Um, oh no, not again. I think we're going to have to call it a day. I don't think my computer can handle it today. It's just not happy. My laptop is just not happy, guys. Um so let me try one more time just to close a couple of things down oh we'll try one more time and then we'll have to end i'm really sorry so we haven't quite got all of the skittering that i wanted to have uh, that's supposed to say running not running oh yeah i think i think we're just gonna have to call it a day but let's just go through what we have managed to do, to do today so even with tech issues and all of that we've still managed to fulfill the brief i feel um so we're on a volcanic planet we've got some giant spiders which we were hoping were going to be mecha spiders um i hope to be mecha spiders that we would ride to the cantina um, oh god, everything's freezing again. No, no. Oh man, I'm gonna try one more time. One more time. Perseverance is my middle name. Um, just spiders were way better anyway. Yeah, so we're just gonna say that the spiders own the cantina, they're in the band, everything. I mean, yeah, we're on a volcanic planet. Volcano erupt. We have to hop on some regular spiders, perhaps. <laughs> we have spiders. We have spiders. They are happening. Spiders are happening. 
and then we make it to the cantina. Uh, we should have had a door or like a heavy iron door. Um, you know what? With all the tech issues that we've had, I am just gonna say we are done for today. <laughs> I really appreciate you guys tuning in as always. Uh, thanks for your help and your input and just for being here. It really means a lot to me. Um, I really hope that you've enjoyed it or learned something. Um, I, yeah, I, I just, oh, I really hope that our tech issues will be fixed for next week and we'll be able to carry on making cool content for you guys on a Tuesday. Um, so yeah, if you've enjoyed what you've seen today, you want to go and grab some sounds for yourself, maybe even have a play for yourself uh, and check out our new uh, search feature. Remember to opt in to experimental features, but go and grab yourself a 30 day free trial now from Sirenscape.com and you can explore everything that Sirenscape has to offer. Um, Lone Jedi said I've learned something every week. I had no idea there were so many tra traditional music selections. Yeah, we have all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. Do you mean like modern, modern sort of music? Modern music. Um, I'm sorry that I'm so weird. You've just got to accept me as I am. As I am. Uh, anyhow. I hope you've enjoyed the show and uh, thanks for tuning in and uh who knew there was jazz yeah who knew there was jazz maybe i will just call this uh hot hot jazz spiders super hot jazz spiders something like that um but yeah thanks guys for tuning in and uh don't forget to go and spread the word about this amazing show don't mention the tech issues just keep that to yourselves um spread the word we're trying to get to ten thousand followers on twitter uh so if you could help us to do that that would be great um and yes i'll hope to see you again same time next Tuesday for some more Sunset Roulette. Have a great day, guys. I will see you very soon. Thanks so much for watching the show, guys. I really hope you enjoyed that episode of Sunset Roulette. If you did, there's plenty more in this playlist down below. So I hope you'll go and check that out. Or maybe you'll like one of our other shows. We have Cyberpunk Red and we have our Call of Cthulhu show, The Mound. So go and check those out as well. And I hope to see you again soon for some more Sunset Roulette.